AFC preview. AFC preview. Yeah, I can't talk. Uh, it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. The Patriots and the Chiefs live from Arrowhead. This is going to be Sunday, what, 5.40 p.m.? CBS. Yeah, they're saying 5.40. I think it'll kick off 5.40. No, nah, I think it'll be closer to 6. Yeah, I think I think it will, too, because it depends on the first game. They're yeah. not going to. They're going to hold it. Yeah, they'll they'll hold the kick until the Saints and the Rams are done, and I think the Saints and Rams are going to be a close game. Yeah. So they'll keep people on that one as long as they can. Um, but, yeah, this is from Arrowhead. Chiefs minus three. And what's the over-under on this? 55 and a half as of right now. We're doing this Wednesday. It was, it was 57 and a half opening. It's come down two full points. Yeah, because it's going to be seven degrees. A little chilly, a little nipply. Um, I'm... That's really cold. It's really cold. That's like it, super cold. Like they're they're thinking wind chill could be like negative fifteen. That's yeah. I that's mean, too it's, damn cold. I I agree with you. I mean, that's two boys from Mississippi. We don't do that. We we don't do the seven degree thing. No. Uh, it's supposed to be like so. We're doing the live show. By the way, the show is brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books down there. You can find more information over at tunicatravel.com. We're doing a live show this Sunday, January 20th, before the championship games from Hollywood Casino. We're going to be set up at the stage bar, going live on YouTube and Twitter at, what, 1230? Yep. 1230 p.m., uh, and we're going to run for about an hour. We'll be done about 30 minutes before the first game kicks. Come out there. We're set up right next to the sports book. It's going to be a good time. Food and drink specials. Hopefully, you will all come out. And enjoy it. Play a little blackjack during the game. It's the the what is it? The South's biggest projector screen. Yep. Twelve foot by twenty four foot. Uh, I'd say massive TV. Good yeah. nice area. Plenty the, of places. Have you, to have sit. you had the food there? No. The food is fantastic. And I know I'm on this whole thirty diet right now. But Sunday's going to be my my cheat day. Those are the, those are the Lord's carbs. I'm telling you, they the chicken wings are awesome. They they got uh, buckets of beer. For twelve dollars, twelve bucks. I, I know how much the booze cost. Yeah, because it, it's two bucks a beer. I have done that. It's fantastic. Uh, they got they got awesome fries, nachos, personal pan pizza things. They got hot dogs. They got all your favorite bar food, and it's all dirt cheap. Yep. I'm talking. Check this out. Me and a bunch of guys went down for the McGregor uh, Habib fight. Had six guys to feed all of us, and to just drink. As much as we wanted, cost about forty five dollars. That's that's pretty we, good. We had food left over, yeah, and it cost forty five dollars. It was awesome. So come out, hang out with us, get some food, listen to the show. We're gonna have a speaker set up so that you can actually listen to us. It's gonna be a good time. Uh, Twelve thirty is the the go live time, but we'll be there about eleven o'clock. Come shake our hand. Let us tell you thank you for supporting the show. Now let's get back into the preview. Let's jump into this thing. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs got the monkey off their back last week. Correct. Finally won a playoff game. First playoff home win since 1993. That was the uh, the Joe Montana years. Man, that was a long time ago. But now they got to go up against the Evil Empire. Andy Reid has been here before. It was a Super Bowl. Yeah. Lost yeah. that game. He he has not had to play against Bill often. No, they they. For both of them to have been coaching as long as they have, he he has they have not matched up very often. No. Um but Andy Reid in, in the playoffs against Bill, 0 and two. Yep. Does that mean anything for this game? I don't know that that will be the reason it <laughs> it won't go the Chiefs way. Um but but uh I mean, sure you can say that. It's uh so I, again, never, seven degrees I've in never, Kansas City. I've never been a fan of trends just for the sake of trends. I need some I need some form of reasoning for for why something is happening, not just this has happened so many times, so it's going to continue to happen. Clay Travis called the Patriots performance last week the dead cat bounce. Have you heard of that? Okay. Dead cat he's bounce. Been, he's been screaming all season that the dynasty is dead. Yeah. And and he's just and here they are in the AFC Championship game again. Yeah. This is thirteen out of the sixteen years that Brady has played. That is ridiculous. Now is is Pat Mahomes 
in a position where he could start a a run like that? Ooh, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know, know that will ever, ever happen. I mean, Tom and Bill have played in more playoff games than some quarterbacks will play their regular season games. Like, I mean, yeah. it's just – it's a pretty epic run. I agree. I think they were saying last week that Bill was coaching in his 40th playoff game. He only played 16 games. That's season. absurd. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, that's that's crazy. Uh, so so those numbers are just a little, little weird. I do think about the cold. And while Kansas City is a cold-weather team and it's their home crowd, and so they should be used to this, this shouldn't affect them negatively. Seven Pat- degrees is different than thirty. Patrick Mahomes is a Texas boy. Yeah, he he's not used to seven. They don't get seven where he's from. Okay, that doesn't happen. I don't know that you can. I don't know that you can get used to it in like a week. No, no, and and you can't say well he played last year. No, he didn't. He played week seventeen last year. And that was it, and I'm quite certain it wasn't anywhere close to this. It, it wasn't we, seven. We've had this conversation before. There's a strong difference between 30, 40 degrees and seven wind chills in the negatives. There's just a big difference in that. Yeah. And, and I don't know that he's played in that very much. Now, you and I talked in the, in the recap, or maybe it wasn't even in the recap. Maybe it was just us talking. Maybe. About uh, Cousin Sal said that uh that Clay Travis told him that so on, weather doesn't yeah, explain this to all, me. All right, so on and I haven't had it I work during the day so I never get to watch like their their TV show. What's it Lock called? Lock it in. Lock it in. Um but Cousin Sal on Bill Simmons podcast, they do guest the lines every week and every Monday and I, I listen to that. And um Cousin Sal said that Clay has been on this hype that um weather doesn't have any effect at all. At the end of the day, like people think about it, but the players really don't care. It just does not matter. It doesn't affect the outcome of any game ever. And Cousin Sal was like, I can't believe that. That can't be true. He has to be wrong. So he did like a little bit of research and everything that he found was like, wow, it kind of really doesn't have an effect. And so he asked Bill to put some of the ringer staffers who are researchers to dig in. They haven't done a podcast again yet. They won't do one until Monday. And, and, we won't get that information until later, but but it's just one of those things where I'm very curious because my first reaction is is that can't be true. The weather has to have an effect on games. Now the only one that I can think of was that that Seahawks Vikings playoff game where it was this level cold, right? Yeah, and they, I mean was was Teddy Bridgewater the quarterback? I think he was. Sam, you don't think Sam Darnold, uh, Sam Bradford was the quarterback? No, I don't think so. I think I think this was Teddy Bridgewater. Like maybe his first season starting. Um, I don't remember the quarterback, but I remember. But I, I remember it being like ten to nine, and right. they missed that super short field goal. And, and afterwards, the kicker. I mean, he was just like it was like kicking a brick of ice. Like yeah. you can't. You, I couldn't kick it straight. I couldn't kick it at all. Yeah, I couldn't get the ball off the ground. It was that heavy. It was that hard. Um, yeah, I mean that. That's just if I think. It would affect me. I can't speak for how other people. I think the linemen that are rough and tough. Now, obviously, these guys are far tougher than I'm ever going to be. <laughs> but like, they're like, I'm going to go out here in a t-shirt, and I'm, you know, it's not going to bother me. Man, you are crazy. I, the first minute one person slaps my cold arm, I'd be on the ground in tears, just going, I'm going home. Like, there's no, I'm not going to the sidelines. So he, no, I'm going home. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm not doing that. You're calling in sick. So, does this does the cold have more of an effect on because I like again Gillette? I think doesn't do seven often. Yeah, but they've done it enough. I I don't think. But are there enough guys on this team that that did it when it was? A here's common here's thing? here's the people I think it needs to affect or it does affect. I I don't think linemen tend to have much effect unless the ground is swampy or frozen. I don't think defensive or offensive linemen have any effect. And I don't think, I don't we're, think not, we're not looking at snow, no, right? No, no, no. Well, they'll have the game covered, and it's supposed to snow all week, but the day it's supposed to be sunny is Sunday. So the, the field will be covered. I don't know what that means because they do play on real grass. If you put a cover over it and then take that cover off, is it going to be like marshy? Swan? I, I don't 
look, I don't know. I'm not a turfologist. I don't, I don't handle that stuff. <laughs> but I think the running backs can handle it just fine. The receivers, I wonder, can they get in and out of the breaks? Are the fast twitch muscles that they need to have to run precise routes to get open? Are you able to do that? And then I think quarterbacks, can they handle it? Because they're the ones that mentally have to do so many things. Yeah. And when you're that cold, does it affect you? Tom has done this multiple times over and over again. There's no question in my mind this will not affect. It might affect him physically. It might be I'm 41 years old. My body doesn't handle it that well. Yeah. But but the mental mistakes will not be there for him. It absolutely could. Don't know that it will, but it could affect Patrick Mahomes. I don't think he's ever played anything like this. I think you're probably right. When he you're played probably... college ball in Lubbock, they didn't get much weather like this. No, no. Uh, I don't know that he's used to it. And I I mean, we'll see. I'm still going, like, I'll go on and give you my pick now. I'm going with the Chiefs minus three. Okay. I think they got the monkey off their back last week. I think this week that place will be absolutely fired up, right? I, I think it will be a, a – and it's not that the Patriots haven't seen this before, but also know that the Patriots are 3-5 and five on the road this year. That, <laughs> I don't know why I'm, – I'm giving you the numbers. Yeah. He's, okay. he's also – Brady is 1-4 and four in AFC Championship games on the road. That's – that. he's 3-4 three, he's three and four in road playoff games in his career. And 1-4 and four in the last five. Okay. I think what that tells me is it's a coin flip game of if he's going to win or not or lose, and, and and he's played an odd number, and he's lost one more than he's won. I think that's what that tells me. Well, I mean, he's lost three more than he's – No, he's – you're, you're just oh, you're saying this last thing. Four. Oh, he's okay. three and four, Gary. Right, he he started out two and oh. Yes, yeah. he's three and four. And now he's one and four in the last five. Yeah. So, Well, our, well I mean, if we're just going to pick and choose – the, the numbers, I mean, you know, which well, ones we're going to look at, more which ones not. One. Like his, That's right. His road record. Just go by the ones that sound right. <laughs> I'm going to go by all of them. I'm going to look uh, at his you, entire body of work. That, yeah, but he ain't the same guy that he was when he first started. They're not going to play the same game they played last week. It doesn't matter if he's the same guy or not. This is That's, a different no, game right. plan for every week, much less year to year. Agreed. I'm not saying it's the same game plan. I'm not saying anything like that. Pat's going to whip their ass. That's, let, me just, let me just go I, ahead and put that out this. there. This is, going to be, this is going to be a thrashing. You saw what happened last week. Now, it probably won't be. It'll probably be a close game. I'm rolling with my Pats. I think defensively they're going to find a way to slow this game down. I have no idea how they're going to do it because I'm not as smart as Bill Belichick. But I think yeah, they're going to ask Mother Nature for some help. He's got a game plan in mind that's going to slow this team down. And if the defense plays the way they played last week – they will bend but not break, and they will do exactly what they did last week. And I think the offense will be ready. I don't think this defense is going to do to the Patriots what they did to the Colts. I agree. I, I think agree. they'll get the ball out way faster. I think they'll they'll run a far more complicated offense, and, and I think they will control this game from start to finish. I do not think the weather will hurt the Patriots in any way, shape, form or fashion people want to continue so so everybody got on tom about oh he's playing like everybody hates us nobody thinks we can win stuff he needs to stop that wait a minute almost every analyst in the nation picked the picked the chargers to upset the patriots last week yeah and and instantly when they saw it was a bloodbath was immediately going on twitter in, in picking the Chiefs to win this week, how is how is that not correct in what he's saying? Everyone hates us, and everyone's picking us to lose. They all think we suck now. It, you know what? You keep pick. Look, I made it clear I'm not betting against Nick Foles anymore because I don't know how he's doing it, but he's winning games. If he doesn't win, he's covering games. And, and I've been right when I blindly just throw all the numbers out. Every number in the world tells me, Tom Brady and Bill Belichick is just not smart to bet against those guys. Yeah. Now, so let me give you give credence to what I have heard Patriot people talking about media members that cover Boston sports teams um, about why their road record looked the way it looked this year. 
if you go back and watch those games, every time it looked like Tom was about to get hit, he just went down. They all were talking about how Tom is just playing the regular season now just for January. He does not care at all about the regular season anymore. He's 41 years old. He's not taking these hits in September or October or November or December. He's just not doing it. So when he goes into Tennessee and when he goes into Jacksonville and the defense gets up after him, when he goes into Detroit and they get after him, he's just going down. He's throwing the ball away and he doesn't care. And if they lose that game, he does not care. He wants to win every game in Gillette. He owes it to every fan there to give them his best, and he's always done that. And then I think other than that, he does not get me to January, and let's roll. Let's go. Okay. So so this has turned into NBA. The Warriors. Well, I mean, I don't know that it's the Warriors, but it's but that, it's that's some, kind of what it seems like. Right? At some point in time, I don't think he's trying to lose games. He's not well, resting. No, I don't. I don't think or taking the Warriors plays are, off. Or, I just think he's not. He's not going to take a hit. You're talking about a game in which you, as a quarterback, you get crushed, as yeah. opposed to you're LeBron James and you just got a lot of miles on your legs. Like, there's a big difference between what no, those I'm, two teams are. I'm with you. I, I you're, understand you're what you're saying. You're making a comparison that I'll give you that. That's fine. But, but that's, I mean, that's kind of what this sounds like, right? It's, uh, yeah, you just kind of go through the motions, and if you win them, then cool. If you don't, oh, that's I think cool. he's preparing to win all of them. Well, yeah, but if if things don't start going your way, like I think that's how you lose by 20-whatever to, to but, the Titans. I think I think when he threw the ball away and had the really bad interception in, in, in Pittsburgh, I think they wanted to win that game. I think they were in that game. I also think he thought – Man, this is November, and I'm not taking these hits. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going down, and if I can throw the ball away to save the down, I'll save it. Oh, it got picked off. All right, we'll get yeah. him next time. Yeah, you might be right because he stood in the pocket against the Chargers. He didn't slide. He didn't go down in that game. He stood in the pocket. He took big hit after big hit after getting the ball off. They just couldn't get to him in time. He got the ball off too fast every play. And it was sharper and crisper than he looked the entire season. And I don't think that's just him picking apart the Chargers. I think mentally, he was just this he is was when finally it, dialed. This in. is when it matters. Yeah, I can. I can. I think Sunday is going to be the exact same thing. I don't think this Chiefs defense is very good. I think they looked great against the Colts. This was a Colts team that was one in five and went on a run. Yeah. And you know what? They're still that same one in five team somewhere deep down inside them. Yeah, Patriots might lose this game. the uh, The biggest it difference in this it game won't be because he's one in four in his last five road games, and so therefore he's whatever. That won't be the reason they lose this game. No, 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 no. Obviously, everything has to go right for the Chiefs to win the game. I'm not saying that it's just because he's on the road. I'm saying off of that. The biggest difference in this game is there is no Kareem Hunt. Hunt lit up the Patriots the last time. Yeah. Can Williams do something different to the Patriots that Hunt did not do? I don't know. I, I know this. I was terrified of Melvin Gordon last week because I think Melvin Gordon is elite-level good running back. Well, but if if the Patriots get out to a 21 nothing lead or whatever, then, yeah, obviously that takes Williams out of the, out of the equation. Yes, but I don't think but that happened. if it's a close ball game throughout and the running game is still an option, which it was not for the Chargers. That's right. If the running game is still an option, is Williams the hard-nosed running back that can get those extra yards for you? Probably against the Patriots' run defense all year, people have been able to run on them. Yeah, and I, I don't know that – Hunt was never that guy. Hunt the guy was the in-space guy. So Bill takes one guy away every game. That's just what he does. He goes up against the Steelers. He takes Antonio Brown away. He didn't care if Le'Veon Bell got what he wanted. He, he, he sometimes didn't care he if could Juju, stop Smith Juju Smith. Sometimes he couldn't. Didn't care. He said, I walked in there, and then Antonio ain't getting his. I think the guy he's going to stop is not Hill. I think it's going to be Travis Kelsey. Because I think – Oh, Kelsey makes the whole thing work. Well, yeah. he opens the middle, which which destroys them, which cuts them into a lot of pieces defensively. When you when you can put a big body across the middle like that, um, that's who I think. But once again, man, I don't know what he's going to do because I didn't foresee the defense that they played against the Chargers scared me to death. It was all out blitz every time with one safety in the back, and I thought. 
they complete a pass, it's it's a touchdown. Nobody yeah. can stop these guys. And it was just one of those things where he was like, let them complete a pass. And they they couldn't. They couldn't do it. I, I, so I, I don't want to pretend like I know how they're going to cover them. I'm I'm just guessing. The answer is you either take away Hill or you take away um, Kelsey. Kelsey. I think the way they've played in the past, I think they'll take Kelsey. Um, Hill, Hill is who scares me the most. Well, yeah, I was coaching the team. I would. I wonder if there's a thing where we can't take Hill, so let's just let him get his. Like let Hill do his thing, but but Kelsey is what makes yeah. the. And when they get in the red zone, we shut everybody down. Yeah, I mean yeah. that's that's the way it works. All right, uh, what about over under? You you think whether yeah, it's, this thing it's, under? No, it's fifty five and a half, and I think both these teams will score. I do. I don't think the Chiefs are going to do what the Chargers did and just roll over and lay down. But I, I do think the Patriots can score every other possession. I mean, I think this is going to – it won't be what the first matchup was with these two teams. No, what was that, 83 total Yeah, points? I mean, it was it, – yeah, they both they both hit – no, it was 40 to – It was 43-40. 43-40, that was it, 83 total. Yeah, I, I don't think we're seeing that, but I could easily see both of these. I mean, I could see a 28-31 ball game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so, I, I think it's going to be higher scoring – um, I, I don't know that the weather – I would love the weather to be a factor because if it's a factor, I think it hurts the Chiefs. But if it's not – If it's not, I happen. think it's an even game. Yeah, and anything can happen. Anything can happen. That's a far cry from five minutes ago when you were like, the Pats are going to whip their ass. They're, gonna, they're still going to whip their ass. That's <laughs> I believe that. All right, that is our AFC preview, AFC championship game preview. I go. keep forgetting the championship game part. But this is for the AFC, so it's whatever. Uh, As always, brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. Six incredible sports books. You can check them out at tunicatravel.com. We are going to be at Hollywood Casino this Sunday, January 20th, going live at 1230. We'll be there about 11 o'clock, shaking hands, kissing babies, all the wonderful things. They got food and drink specials all day. I'm talking dirt cheap, and the stuff is actually really good. Come hang out with us. We'd love to see you. We will see you on Sunday.